Still here, still chugging along. I know I don't post as much as I used to, but uh, who am I kidding? I'm not very good at it anyway. But we are in irrigation season. Uh, we kind of started hitting it a little later this year due to all the rain, but nevertheless, it started. It's not super hot and heavy right now. We're just trying to keep ahead of that curve of you know things drying out. Um, we do have some smaller chances of rain later this week, so we'll see how those pan out. Today, uh, this morning, I already changed oil in a well on a motor. And now I uh, went out to a pivot and walked it and realized I have a flat tire. So we are going to change a tire on a pivot today. Makes a stop for that one. Unfortunately, it's a tall tire. We'll have spares in stock ready to go. I go pick them up. When I get this one done, hopefully, uh, I'll take it back and take it to the co-op and they will put a new one on. That way we always have one waiting and we don't have to wait for them to do it while we're uh, uh, changing them out. <laughs> to get the tools I may need out there. probably forget something. All right, let's light this candle. Okay, I ended up strapping it down. Hopefully this, it fell off when I turned the corner. So hopefully that holds better. I know, it's amazing work. I'm gonna go to the end of the field. And this is the way we're taking. Bit of a hill up ahead. I'd like to thank the neighbors for mowing along this electric fence here. Made me a trail halfway there. That guy really feel good, man. I don't know why. That's no problem for the Suzuki. Yes, is silent in Japanese. See some of our end rows here. Got a little washed out from the earlier rains. Okay, this is where the magic's gonna happen. Oh, my foot. I'm gonna make a spot. I like to be romantic. Okay. What do you think? She flat? Got my stand, which is helpful because it's usually fairly soft. Come back here from behind. Wet. Going uphill. You always want to be careful with these things. That's where having a stand usually helps.
So the key is to put your your bolts somewhere where you're gonna lose them easily. At least that's my experience. Oh, sorry guys. I left a, I put a bolt in backwards for something to kind of guide me and also act as a stand. Usually they use lug nuts. They're like, um, they have studs on them, but these are the older Valley gearboxes. If you've seen my videos past, these kind of stink more because it's just a little more work line and stuff up. Instead of being able to put your tire on studs or your rim on studs, you have to guess. It's not really a good infield fix. So I don't know if I've ever told you this. Fun fact, my grandpa, whom I never met, who died before any of us kids were born, like just before my older brother was born, his name was Francis Joseph. And so we have an FJ O'Neill LLC as part of our business. We named it after him, just out of remembrance of grandpa. Too bad I never met you, buddy. You can see that that's why you do that see I'm off but if I keep going up it should kind of help me rotate this around as long as it doesn't fall off okay now we find those screws that we lost started Let's see how he goes Once you get the first one, it's less stress because you don't worry about it flying off at you now. I'm not going tight yet, but I'm getting them fairly snug so they're close.
Before I get clear out of here, I'm gonna double check, make sure I got everything. In case if you haven't seen, it's muggy out here. Should be golden. So I don't really like feel like getting off and flipping this tire up on the four-wheeler, so reverse it is. Besides, I need to wind back some miles on this thing anyway. Oh, you see the grasshopper? Getting thick. That ought to buff out the rim. What side of the road are you supposed to be on when you do that? Asking for a friend. Now we can go start the pit. Need to keep the water from coming on. So we gotta back it up, line it back up, because it kinks itself and its safety's out at the tower, so we're gonna go back forward until it locks. Then we send it back the other way. We'll give it a minute dry. If it's still holding, going the way I want it to go, then uh, we'll kick the water on. Right now we'll check the dripper before we start it. Where are you going? He, look, he looks like a fun time. You're asking why this big tank's here. I don't know if you've seen it in the background, but we already fertigated, meaning we put some fertilizer on through the pivots. Uh, this one had almost 2,000 gallon, a little over 2,000 gallon that I put a couple circles on with it just to give it a little later season uh, side dress of nitrogen. It's about the easiest way to do it in the hills because if you have to take a tractor it's a lot harder and slower and actually this year would have been really hard because we had a lot of rain where this you could still kind of keep it going. Maybe not quite as accurate as like an applicator but it does the job. But we got most of that done. I think my brother is running one last circle on he has clear up at our Mason City Fields. Make sure this gets pressured up and then I can't really see it much. So I'm going to go to the end of the field, load everything up, get my pickup, check it from the road, and go from there. And then we should be done for this little task. It looks safe enough, right? I can see a little bit of a section of the pivot over the hill. I think it's fine. Uh, you wouldn't be able to see it with this pea shooter of a camera anyway. I can inspect it on my phone app. Well, it shows it's running. To kind of confirm what I think I see. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for changing a tire with me, folks. Uh, we will uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Okay. Hopefully, it's sooner than later. But who knows? I'm not very reliable these days. So, see you guys. Catch you on the next one.